Hi guys. Oh. How can I still heal you? <laughs> House chest. Hmm. Um, yeah, hi guys. Um, it's the RPG Brit here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Hogwarts Legacy. So we've just got to follow Professor Weasley at the moment. <laughs> The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Nice. Do keep up. I am, but I'm walking very... Why oh. don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Okay, the statue depicts the, is it a uh, Kelpie? Kelpie? A shapeshifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long manned horse. Sorry, long maned horse. <clears throat> uh, the largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland, of course. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts, one of two. Field guide challenges are only the only way to acquire experience points. Okay. Open the field guide. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu. To continue, collecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay, that's quite cool then. Clever, let's, let's have an, another look at this properly. So we've got level, map. Wow. What? The grand staircase. Okay, so these are just points of interest, I think. And it tells you up there, um, collection chests, field guide progress. So it tells you in each area... That's really cool. I can't zoom out anymore though, so. Oh no, there you go. Flu flames. <laughs> Hogsmeade. Okay, very, very cool. Right. So we've got quests. At the moment, which is just, yeah, welcome to Hogwarts. Follow Professor Weasley. Okay. Outpost. So we don't have any outpost settings. We're fine. Collections. Revelio pages. Yeah, so obviously this is where we look at the lore that I've just unlocked there. Okay. Uh, talents, inventory and gear, which we're not going to have any of. Opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. So how how do we know that there's a Revelio there? You're about to stray too far. Oh, okay. Let's not do that then. Do I just have to do Revelio quite often? Revelio. I do it with this. No. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. 
Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. Okay. And includes the house, common rooms and Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region. So it's the one that's bouncing, obviously. Yep. Uh, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. So that's the common room right down the bottom there. Uh, Grey flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library and greenhouses. Select the library annex to continue. Professor Weezy has unlocked the central hall flu flame for you. Use that to select and then fast travel. It's annoying because I wanted to open that chest, but it didn't actually let me do anything. That's fine. We can grab that at another time. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. Wow. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall. Okay, so that's what that reveals there. Always this place is going to be so big, isn't it? Part of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, can you tell me more about Charms what class? I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. The voice Especially sounds a bit weird to me. Jinxes, Not hers, my voice. It sounds like I'm in, like an echo. Professor Roman. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <laughs> hmm, I'm just going to lie. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm, almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, <laughs> Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. 
I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, talk to Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding <laughs> our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, open quest log. Right, the... Um, not quest represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. That's got a little lock in it. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest um, rewards. Okay, that's cool. So these are to go to the classes, aren't they? So we can go to either one. Rewards, uh, Accio and Levioso. Nice. Track a quest with the X. So which one should I do first? I'm going to leave Defense Against Dark Arts last. Um, saving the best till last, I think. So Charms class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Yeah, so it's a Pathfinder. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Go to charms class. Quest complete. The charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Okay, cool. Ugh. What am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. <laughs> Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. This sounds like a side quest. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. 
If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Quest started like a moth to the flame. Has it automatically started tracking it? I think. I believe so. No, I don't. Find the location. I think it's down here because it's you saw that pillar. This looks like the location of yeah. the painting. What could be so special about it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, that's what I needed. And I think that might have a um a bit of lore attached to it because I saw that thing disappear. The quill. Return. How do I do it then? <laughs> I knew there was a connection. Oh, there you go. I've unlocked a reward. Let's go to the challenges. Oh, so I've actually unlocked that one as well. Okay, cool. And then this one is um, some gloves. Oh, no, that's the one I've just unlocked. And this one I need uh, eight now to get. Okay. Starting to get the hang of it a bit. Complete two main story quests. Okay. Let's go and talk to this person just to hopefully hand in this quest and then we'll carry on with the main quest, I think. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Hmm. That's been mean. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. Hmm. <laughs> You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. Imagine solving Ouch. a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. If the painting were the man, it seems a more infuriating model. Haha. That's funny. See, I don't know if uh, being mean, because that, that come up as like a companion quest. I'm wondering if they do become a companion of yours. But being mean to companions might lock them out from becoming your companions, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Right, let's track one of these again. Uh, so this one, track quest. Okay. I also don't know the range of that Revelio. Okay, what was that? Where's that one? Is that not... I'm looking on the map, there's a flame thing here. I'm guessing it's not there. Maybe it's underneath. This place is just going to be huge, isn't it? I'm in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. I've unlocked that one. But let's go to Charms first. Who's saying that? Eddie Cleaver. Oh. 
Wow, it's so big. I can't. I'm, I can't get over it at the moment. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Revelio. Sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Charlotte Morrison had to go to the hospital with him. I like that there's a lot of little conversations going on, but you never know whether some of them are going to be important here. to listen to or not. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, let's learn this now. Uh, Studio Wand, yeah, we already know that one. Okay, cool. Akio. Hmm. That is not bad. Thanks. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I guess we're going outside then. I like this guy, though. Very cheery. <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Splendid! Happens to the best of us. Let's try again. Excellent. Good. Not oh, wow. 
It rolls really fast. Very good. Don't lose your composure. I let go. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit I didn't of get that because I released it very early, but it just kept rolling anyway. Hmm. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What? There we go. Okay, I wasn't able to do any of them, so I actually don't think I know what I'm doing here. Okay. I've actually got to release R2 as well. I'm guessing she's gonna get full. Oh wow! That is how it's done. Well, I can't beat her, even if I um get in the blue. Unless, can I knock hers out? Let's try that. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Well done. Well, I was getting the hang of it towards the end. I wonder if I did do it harder if I could didn't knock hers off. More interesting, shall we? <laughs> I hmm. think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Oh, well, she walked through me. Watch this. There we go. Right, let's see if we can time this properly. I know everyone is watching, but try to get You are doing quite well. Okay. Excellent control there. Yes. Beat that. Brilliant. Thank you. Let us keep it. Yes. I've won regardless. So I'm gonna I'm gonna knock them right actually no, I don't do that. In case I knock them into the fifty. Let me just try and do it all the way down the edge here. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. I still won. Very good, both of you. Well done. Well, that's fun. I don't know if I actually meant anything that I won, but... Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the oh, world. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So, yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems hmm. very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. A word, if you would. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> right, let's see if there's anything in here. Well, there's quite a lot behind there. learn the summoning charm it was constant Accio this Accio that <laughs> cutlery flying everywhere quite unsafe really you wanted to speak with me professor I did I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation well an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting sir what charm is there in the expected you did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay, cool. And I think that's where you get um, new spells, isn't it? Quest complete, charms. Rebellion. Oh, what's that up here? I'm going to need the, uh, the spell to unlock locks there. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Wasn't too challenging a lesson. But it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Rebellion. Ah! I adore the hamlets near the coast. They're a bit damp, but ever so popular. 
And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where huh. were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fine, fine. It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves the smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a boot. <laughs> Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing with this. Some sort of puzzle. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Nope, no idea what I'm doing with that. Huh. Each one of these must correspond to a number. But yeah, okay. I'll have a look at that another time. <laughs> Right, let's go to the next quest. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as a flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Okay, well let's just carry on with the main quest and I'm guessing we've got to go back where we came from because we were in the uh, defense against the dark arts tower before Right, see that there? I saw that. There we go. Okay, so at least we know what we're looking out for now. Uh, this is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an incessantly shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Peeve messing about again. Oh, what are they? Oh, let's unlock that and begin this quest. blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Let 
Obviously a feather. Now, let's try something a little larger. Form a basic cast, but he's not on there. We know that. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised. So, now, well done. Hmm. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. I know. This will not be your first. Let's just say I'm a quick man. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Use the basic cast when your opponent's guard is down. I bad him. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. It's <laughs> a fellow Slytherin. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Speak with Sebastian. Let's have a look first. I'm not going to be able to go through there. We know that. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand combat. It was never used my wand in combat. Do the first I've one. Dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time.
If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. <laughs> cool, that was actually really cool. That like, Joel, I mean, when I was looking forward to this game, I was concerned about how the combat would be, but so far, I'm really liking it, to be honest. Right, okay, so. Weezy after class required level two. Uh, attend the first day, meet with Professor Weasley, okay. Do I have any challenges I can hand in now? And claim those gloves. Can't do anything with that yet. I can't do anything with that yet, okay. Right. Let's see about getting back to to Professor Weasley. Oh, got stuck there a bit. Let's make sure we unlock that one. A wyvern fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir uh, Cadogan, Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Is this the same cat? No. Huh. I wonder if there's a trophy or something to reveal. Not not to reveal, sorry. Um, to interact with loads of cats. Right, Weasley after class. There's a house elf. The room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing. Can I keep lying? I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor yeah, Ronan they did mention that. About that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. 
Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Let's do Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Fellow Mr. Slytherin. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Another quest done. All right, cool. So, um, let's have a look at our Professor Ronan's assignments. Repair, that'd be good. Let's go to the map. So it might be worth doing that sooner rather than later, to be honest. Uh, Alright, cool. So, I'm actually going to end this video here. But yeah, next one we're going to go and see if we can do this assignment and get Repero. So... Yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.